Jeremy Oliver standing here at Pecavia Estate as the sun goes down with Jeremy Muller, the, the owner of the proprietor of this property. And we're tasting a series of his wines and we are now on to the first of the red wines we're going to be looking at, which is uh, Jeremy's second label. It's called No Regrets and this is a Cabernet Merlot uh, blend vintage 2021. And I've tasted this wine a couple of times before in, in previous months. And this is a terrific Margaret River Cabernet blend. And Jeremy, if, if you had told me <coughs> that this had a price tag of north of $50, I wouldn't have been surprised. I wouldn't have been shocked. I wouldn't have been dismayed. It's, it's around about half of that, which is absolutely, from my point, uh, rare and almost unprecedented um, for Margaret River to produce a wine of that level of quality at that price. So I'm completely blown away. Well done. Mm -hmm. How can you produce a wine at this level at, uh, at, at the prices? This is just astonishing because it does deliver everything you want. So you've got your black, you've got your cassis, you've got your dark <clears throat> cherry, you've got smart, smoky, cedary, uh, coffee ground oak. You've got everything in this wine. Yeah. No, I, I think, I mean, there's two things, I guess, with us going with, with this is the first one is we're using older oak, which does make it more approachable, younger mm. age. So that's, that's one thing that sort of, and it brings down the price point. The other thing is for us, we, you know, there's a lot of selection with what goes into our Pacavi range mm. and anything that we, you know, feel won't, isn't quite good enough. We declassify and we put into here. So a lot of the time you could be getting fruit that could be, you know, could have been going to our estate range or Pacavi range, which then the price points are either 75 or $150, and they would then be going into this wine. And that's why, because otherwise, what, what do we do with it? You know, we don't, wanna, we don't wanna sort of do something less at the very top end, mm. so we then just put it in there, which is why sometimes you just get incredible value. This is a seriously proper wine. There's, it's, it's beautifully uh, presented, the oak, as I say, is surprisingly assertive given that it's older. No. It's, it's emphatic, but the fruit easily soaks it up. <clears throat> it's got beautiful length and dry. The tannins are fine. They're pliant. <clears throat> it's easy to drink, easy to enjoy, but there is genuine texture and structure there, which is often the issue with the lesser, the lower price cabernets. They, winemakers generally put the foot off the gas and, and too much, and so you end up with a, a juicy mouthful of fruit, but no structure. This one is a proper wine. Yeah. And I think it's a wine with at least a decade of selling. Yeah, oh, um, absolutely. Without absolutely. any question at all. Jeremy, all I'm gonna say is this is truly astonishing. Um, I, I can't imagine anyone tasting this wine, finding it easy to reconcile with the price it sells at. I'm delighted that you've done it. Um, it's an extraordinary opportunity for Australians, Australian wine drinkers who maybe think Margaret River is beyond their price, and there's a rationale for thinking that. I'd start here if you thought that. And um, we happen to have some at Oliver's Wine, so we're looking forward to seeing you there.